Through this video, I hope to explain how to use the sum and related function in Excel. Here you have a chance to get the idea before each practicals. Here you can get uh, the total value of the numbers in this uh, brown color range uh, that you select uh, equal sum open brackets and enter your range like this and close the brackets and enter and uh, you can see in this uh, uh, yellow color range there's a text value uh, but there's no matter uh, in the calculation that value is neglect so we don't want uh, worry about that text value we can get uh, the summation of those values like this let's see the sum if function if you want to get the total under some condition you have to use this function think you want to get the summation of these values which are greater than 50 then you can type equal sum if open your brackets the criteria range and add your criteria in the quote in the double quote greater than 15 and give your sum range and close your brackets and enter if your criteria range is same as to your sum range uh, it is not need to insert your sum range again at the end of your statement you can give it like this equal sum if open your brackets give your criteria range and criteria close your brackets but if your sum range is different from the criteria range you have to do it like previous you have to enter both ranges let's see about the sum if function sum ifs function here you can get the summation of these numbers these values that obeyed several criteria think uh, now you need to calculate the total value for this green color column considering values in other two columns that are in uh, blue and yellow the value is taken into account if the relevant value in our blue color range is greater than 25 and the relevant value in our yellow color range is less than 25 so we can type it as equal sum ifs open your brackets and enter your sum range that green color range and our criteria range blue color range and uh, greater than 25 and then we can add our second criteria range yellow color range and second criteria within court less than 25 and close our brackets and enter then we can see it has taken 
uh, values that obeyed both both criteria at the same time here you can use same range for sum range and criteria range on your requirement sum sq function here now you need to get the summation of the squares of these numbers within this range so you can do it like this type equal sum sq open your brackets and enter your range and close the brackets and enter you can obtain the final answer the value let's see some product think here you have given quantity unit price and number of days those products has been taken if you want to take total expenses for these products you can type equal some product and open the brackets and enter your range yellow color range and then you can enter your brown color range unit price and you can enter your green, uh, blue color range and close your brackets and you can obtain the value you can see the value it has given uh, by multiply those values along the row and getting the summation of those values the next sum x2 py2 function by this function you can get the summation of the squares of numbers that includes within these two arrays it is similar to sum sq function but here you can insert just two arguments just two just two arrays and the uh, size of those arrays that you enter to this uh, function should be same size if not you will get error answer let's see how to get our answer type equal sum x2 py2 and open your brackets and insert our first array this brown color ar uh, range and comma then insert our second array this ash color range and close our brackets and we can get answer as this next sum x m y2 function by using this function you can get the summation of squares difference of these pair of values in these arrays equal sum x m y2 open the bracket and enter the first array this uh, yellow color one and second you can enter this ash color array and here we you have to remember 
the size of these arrays should be same as the final one the function sum x2 my2 by this function you can get the summation of difference of squares these pairs within this arrays here you are getting the answer like this type equal sum x2 my2 open the bracket and enter your array 1 and secondly you can enter your array and close your brackets and you can get your answer in here also you have to follow the rule that same size two arrays should be inserted to our argument